Hello there, Marshall here from Limited Resources, and this is the other draft that we did on LR671. So let's take a quick look at the uh, deck. This is the five color. Again, if you want to watch that draft, you can go to the video here on the channel for LR671, and this is the uh, first draft that we did. This is a five color domain deck, as you can see. A couple of things to note is we've got a ton of dual land, so that was really nice. Lots of tap lands coming down on turn one, but we do want to set up for an important little pocket of cards up here, which is Essence Scatter times three, and then three copies of Instant Speed Cantrips that cost the exact same amount. That's a very powerful thing to be able to, um, you know, have optionality on, okay, I need to counter what you played, or I can go ahead and fire something off and still use my mana so we can confidently pass on turn two. So that ends up being um, an interaction that we can lean on hopefully quite often. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if this deck played out a lot with Turn one tap land, turn two, leave up blue and another color, and then have, you know, one of those two options available. I mean, when you have three copies of a card, you're going to see it a lot, right? Uh, you know, you're only 40 card decks and you're starting off with seven of them. By the time you get to turn two, you've drawn two extra cards as well, usually. So that puts you at nine cards. That's almost a quarter of your deck that you've already taken a look at and you've got three copies in there. So you're you're a pretty good favorite to have hit. Okay, so what do we want to hit here? It's actually pretty bad. I'll keep it. Um, because we really just need green, and then this this hand actually becomes pretty sweet. But uh, not having green in the opener, no duels either, is a little bit awkward. It looks like my opponent's on six, so that might help. All right. That's a bingo, as they say in the business. Okay, that's not too bad either. So let's get Floriferous Vine Wall down. Okay, so I need blue and green, which I've already got. I've already got black mana for the Phyrexian Rager. I will need another green source, so I guess I'll take this. This does give me a little bit more... Uh, it gives me one extra color, so I guess I'll just have to take that in case we draw. We're going to see a bunch of cards. I should be able to hit another green before I get to seven. That isn't super concerning. And like this turn, I'm going to play the Rager, uh, you know, yeah, there we go, uh, barring anything else. Okay, so Rager, and there's a repossession, so... These are good cards to buy back. Yeah, this is coming together. I'm probably going to delay playing this tap land again. Um, so that I can get down Nail, which I will do now. Next turn, if, if the hand doesn't change significantly, I can do Root Wall, a plus Vine Wall. Although I guess I'd need another green source, wouldn't I? So I can go vine wall into green source plus, you know, something like that. Also, if I get a hit with this, it can help. Okay. They're not going to do two to everything. I guess they are. All right. That, that actually helps me. <laughs> Strangely, because the re repossession now, I have two targets for it straight away. But um, all right, let's, let's just get in. I can play this red source to get one more view here, but I kind of want to see what I've got coming up. Essence Scatter's tempting. Fires of Victory is probably the, the, the highest upside. The Vine Shaper's right there too, but I'll take Fires. Okay, um, if that's the case, I'm not going to be playing the Vine Wall, so I will just play this and this. And yeah, I'm not going to repossession here either. I want to get max, max value. Okay, Outrider actually dings me pretty good here, but I do have the Fires of Victory, and I think just killing an Outrider seems fine. Like, that card's really good, and this is just a solid two-for-one for me, so I'll just take it. And I get to jam. I got all the colors now. So I am starting to look at cards like Essence Scatter as being tempting, and I think I'll do that here. Next turn, I'd like to just play Mossbeard Ancient. 
But there's other things I can do too. But on this board, it looks like the ancient looks pretty nice. So let's get in here. Okay, play the big feller. That puts me back up to 19. This is a big turn. If my opponent does something devastating here, like creature-wise, it could be annoying. If they kill my creatures, then I'm kind of happy because it means I just get to have kind of an explosive Urborg repossession. Um, you know, it, like let's say they use a removal spell to kill Mouse Beard Ancient, like Destroy Evil, for example. Bingo. Okay, Monstrosity comes down. That's annoying because I didn't get to scatter here, but I'm curious if they attack with the 4-4. No, they're going to sit back. I kind of don't blame them. Okay, so I want to leave up Essence Scatter. So I think I can just kind of do everything here. I can choose between Joint Exploration or Vine Wall. Okay, I'm just going to sit back because my opponent's in a pretty awkward position here. They can hit us for a good chunk with like the monstrosity or something and if they'd like. But the sunbathing root walla holds back other things. I just have to take a hit here. And this is a lot of damage, no doubt about it, but it is not going to kill me. And I can, and I have got, I've got a lot of good options here. My hand is absolutely stacked. Oh man, that's brutal though. Well, I don't believe that I have anything that interacts with that, but let's not assume. Okay, well, these are good. That's going to make my life difficult, though, because I don't really have the ability to, like, put the pedal to the metal, and they're going to be drawing two cards a turn kind of forever now. I guess I shouldn't say that. I do have the ability to do quite a bit here. Like, I can play Ancient, then go Tatio of a Land, probably. This will allow me to leave up Scatter. Oh, I'm supposed to attack first, though. That was a punt. I should have got in there. I think they actually would have chump locked with the 1-1, one, one, so could have got, could have done that. I got a little ahead of myself. So probably punted two damage or a 1-1, one, one, one or the other. Okay, so this is an easy counter. Because I need to keep the board. I mean, that's just a good card, whatever. But I want this Moss Spirit Ancient to be able to, like, attack. Especially if I can hit a removal spell here for, like, the dragon. Ooh, hello. How about a removal spell for the dragon? So that's four, and this is five. I have enough mana to do both. So let's... The issue here is that getting down Tatiova at this point isn't that great because I need a land to go with it. My plan was to cast both of these to go Espionage, Tatiova, land. But just getting rid of this dragon is actually quite a bit better. And the four life probably is relevant, so I'll just do this. What? Well, that's like ultra annoying. All right, let's uh, let's do this then. So, if I attack with this, they will just block with the dragon, I assume. In which case, I get in for four and kill that dragon. You know what? I actually do want to do that. 
because getting that dragon off the battlefield, even if it isn't normally a trade for the Moss Spirit Ancient, clears the way for Tatiova. Ooh, that's risky. Although I guess not really. I, I don't really know. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's a really good play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good. Now, this does give me the option to kill the monstrosity, but as it turns out, I actually do want to kill the dragon, so they don't take anything. I'm going to keep this Radiant Grove in my hand so that I can combo it with Tatio over here. They just hit blue as well, so now the Codex is just tap draw a card. No blocks here. Maybe they have a fight spell or just an outrider. Okay, that's pretty good. Ooh, weather seed treaty. I gotta feel like that has to be lethal, right? Not quite. So they chump lock the 1-1, one, one, and then they can use this to eat either of these, probably the nail, and then they take three. But then I'm trying to set up for Weather Seed to kill them next turn. It's not quite enough here. And I wonder if it's worth it to give up one of these creatures. I guess the answer is no, so they'll probably just chump. Okay, so I'm just going to play Rager here, and then I'll leave up Scatter. And I'll save the Weather Seed Treaty as a, um, as like a massive combat trick with all these creatures out. Okay, that's a good draw too. Um, white I actually do need somehow. Oh, but I have one here. Okay, that's fine then. Okay, the weather seed. We'll turbo this. Um, I don't know if it actually matters. Yeah, it probably doesn't matter what I put it on there. That was only game one, though. So against the control decks, I think I want these espionages like we talked about on the podcast. I could just go full control mode here. Let's see if that works. Like what, what would I be cutting that would make that worth it? Like maybe this. And like an impulse, something like that. Let's try it. Just full card advantage. I mean, I could deck myself. Okay. Yeah, this looks fine. A little weird having an Ent over here with a bunch of cheap cards, but that's fine. <laughs> Somehow, still haven't had the essence scatter thing, but <laughs> we should. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and get the root wallet down. Okay. So if we draw an untapped land, I'll just go for the Rager. If we don't, 
I'll just probably play a land and pass. All right, we hit it. So that's nice. So Rager comes down. Make sure the lands keep flowing. Jamming in. And then the parade of Outriders will begin. That is fair. Tough but fair. Okay, I think I'm just going to max mana here. So, Nail looks pretty good here. No, they got a 4 4 reach. Let's take the Weather Seed Treaty as well. Pass it. So, I just have to take some medicine here as they're already woo burged up as well. My life total is plummeting very, very quickly here. In fact, if they have another Outrider, I just lose, which is fun. All right, they didn't. Okay, let's play Weather Seed Treaty. Probably just need more green. I'm going to have green, green ready. I don't have white mana, but I don't really need it. What do you got? You got three cards in five colors with five mana. You can't have nothing. Wow, nothing. All right. Trying to set up to be able to cast this to get me out of range of another Maria's Outrider, but that will be difficult. Okay, this does not have Trample, at least currently. But it can get plus two. That would still be fine. All right, I'll just... I'll just uh, do this, actually. Because <clears throat> I, I get targets for Urborg repossession with this line anyway, and... All right, fair enough. So I go down to three, but I survive. Which is good. So an untapped land would have been ideal here, but I don't have it. Get a little bit of value and get our, my life total up slightly higher at least. And then the question is, I guess I'm just vine walling here. At least it gives me another blocker. Just trying to hang in there. Being at five is not really where I want to be, though. I really want to get this guy down. Yeah, that should do it, I think. That's nine and trample. So they have two of those now. And I take seven and I lose. Fair enough. Untapped land would have been... A game changer there, but I have a ton of tap lands in this deck, so I can't really uh, plan on that happening like that. Okay. Try again. I don't mind how I played that, though. Okay, a bunch of lands and a thing, sure. Hmm. Is there anything on two that I really care about? Yeah, maybe. And it's not that punishing to play it. I can still play the Phyrexian Rager. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. Is there anything? Yes, there is. Holy smokes.
I don't think three is that important. I, I think I can just run out this rager. Okay. No, I'm just going to pass. We'll see what they play here. It, okay, they play nothing. I was going to say, if it's an easy scatter target, then sure. But if it dies to, like, fires of victory with this hand, then I probably would just do that. Um, How important is the three damage going to be? It actually might matter. It actually might. So I think I will wait. I, firing off aggressive sabotage right now isn't particularly high leverage anyway. All right, and there's the Outrider. So do I want to counter this? Yeah, I think I just counter it. My opponent's shown that having the ability to have a creature on board is good and then that the damage actually adds up for them as well. Okay, so now I'll just kick this thing. Um... Actually, hmm, I wonder if I want to kick it. Yeah, 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 I want to kick it. Come on now. So they discard a card, and I'll start chipping away at them here. It's kind of a big picture plan. All right, there's another Outrider. Fair. Ooh, I can get a bunch of cards here. One, two, three, four, five, and then I can't quite get that one too, though. Okay, let's just kill this thing. Okay, what do I have here? Nothing? Okay, fair, fair. Keep going. So just two for ones. Grindy, grindy. They're still going to have cards for these Phyrexian espionages and stuff. Speaking of, let's do one of those. Did not hit a, uh, what's it called, which I kind of wanted to, but that's okay. All right, and I'm just going to do this, I think. Yeah, this is fine. I wouldn't mind getting the extra damage, but I don't want to just not cast it just for the damage when I've got him down to three cards. Nice. That is decent. Okay. How many cards do I have in my library? 19, that's fine. Okay, let's get the last card out of hand for them. What was it? Another destroy evil? Okay. I can't block this thing anyway, so I'm just going to trade it off for the for this and the guy, because then I have Urborg Repossession and no good target, so like now I can actually start to grind, uh, dig through the library even more. Ooh, Essence Scatter was really nice, though. But let's get some threats down, and we'll just leave up Scatter. And try to clean up this mess about as quick as we can. Elder Dragon War. Hmm, that's pretty good. That kills the Root Walla. But it doesn't solve all the problems, so that's good. Okay, I don't want either of those. Nice. Nice. Uh, sure, maybe this. I don't know. You're down to five. This thing hits. I'll just take this. Do I have two things now at least? Yeah, the root wall as well. Okay. And I just pass here though because I have plenty enough for lethal. They can discard that one card they drew if it's bad, but if it's a creature, I can nab it, and that's game. All right. 
So one match down. This is best two out of three, as you noticed. So trying to win three. Really good opener. Beautiful. Turbo Auto Mossbeard Ancient off of Weather Seed Treaty. Both of these cards care about getting to seven lands on the battlefield, which is, you know, different than having seven mana. I mean, this one, I guess, doesn't care either way, but this one does. That's pretty good. Let's go. Is my opponent mulliganing a bunch? Kind of seems like it. Um, <laughs> they literally just mulligan to three? Wow. Okay. Well, this shouldn't be a tough game, should it? Um, I need another green source here, actually, so I'll just take one. You know what? I'm actually just going to run out Tati over here as a 3-3 three, three for 3 because I my opponent's on such few cards here, this thing could get in for a bunch of damage. I, You know, it could just be a 3-3. Three, three which it is here. Ooh, I get cards. Sweet. This does benefit my opponent, but not by a ton. Um, yeah, fine. I'll just play Weather Seed Treaty. I would do, I do want the mana. Um, I've got all the colors I need. Need red here somewhere too, so I'll do that. But yeah, I can take advantage of these cards just fine as well. Okay, get a guy. Get in. If they go for a block and pump, I can Herloon battle him, the token. It also would turn off the chapter three, since they don't have any creatures right now. It's just these situations are ones where they just don't, they didn't even block first, okay. Okay, so what am I doing this turn? I don't have white mana anyway, so it doesn't matter, okay. So kill that, and then I'll just play the Rager, probably. So they should have blocked first because, yes, that is the right way to do that, but fair enough. Um, actually, is this better? Actually, it is just better, right? Because it's just more pressure. Because I can just pump it up by a million. Looks like they might give my creatures the tokens. No. All right, so they're going to need to go like Mountain Sweeper probably. They didn't have that. Um, do this. So this is 5, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. All right. That sounds like enough. Okay. So we'll close the door on that one as quick as possible. So they are playing red, white. Definitely don't want these to come in. Whoa, what just happened? Did one of my lands just disappear? <laughs> what the? I don't even know which one it was. That was weird. Suggest lands. Suggest lands, no. Maybe it was a forest. This looks fine. I don't have a lot of wiggle room in the board anyway. Okay, this looks fine. This is much 
much less good <laughs> compared to the other one. But it looks like my opponent's on cheat mode here and actually is keeping seven. Come on. Okay, battle him could be good. I do need my white source at some point. Lanowar Stalker in the house. Noted. The combo. I'll just play this thing. I'll just trade it off for the stalker. <laughs> oh boy. Scout the wilderness into Slimefoot survey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I did not correctly assess what this deck was trying to do. And then they got to pick a card. All right. Let's draw some cards, I guess. Pfft, whatever. I do not respect the Lanowar Stalker. I do not respect it. Okay. That resolves. Kill that, get this thing down. Mm, would have been nice to scatter. Oh, what am I talking about? I have the mana for it. It is nice to scatter this card. Five toughness is just a little annoying because battle him kills so many things. Um, I guess I just go for this. Still think that's the most mana efficient play I've got here. Hmm. Weird. It tapped the. It didn't leave the black untapped. I guess I don't have any targets. Does it know that? I guess it does know that. Can I cast this with no targets? No. Uh oh. Bark weave crusher. Watch yourself. Okay. And they're going to make a 3-6. That is big. Is it, this checks toughness, right? Yes. Okay, so I can play this first then. And play this. And then they have to put everything on the Zara Ojanin to kill it. And they may not even do that. And I still get the counters anyway. Oh, no, they can't even kill it. I'm, I'm talking about through the battle hymn here, of course, if that's not obvious. I forgot um, that he's going to get the first counter as well, so that's kind of nice. All right, so this doesn't mean I'm using this on this, but <clears throat> it means I get another attack with this and start pumping up the team and all that nonsense, so it'll all be fine. This one, unfortunately, is out of range, but... Okay, Phalanx wasn't the worst draw.
What? Don't attack like that. Come on. Don't do that. If you want to enlist, enlist, but don't do it like this. Not like this. I think they're trying to figure out the interface for arena just because, you know, when you want to enlist, it's kind of weird. Like it gives you like two options. We'll let them figure it out. All right, we got there. It is a five, six. I am just going to take it. I have no targets. Get a counter, but I'm attacking for eight. Oh, I could have attacked with the vine shaper too, I suppose, but a little loose, a little loose. Zaro Janin's a little weird. Okay, and then I'll pick up something here to finish the game. A Rager, a Weather Sea Treaty, that should do it. I guess since it, they don't have any cards anyway, I can just go get myself a 1-1 out of the deal instead of having to surprise attack it because it's just going to be a huge amount of damage coming across no matter what. Um, does it matter? Probably not. So I'm just going to jam here. A valiant effort. All right, so one more match, and maybe we get a trophy with this thing. Okay, how does this look? This looks fine, actually, yeah, because we, we get to see some cards, and I'll have Essence scatter up. We finally have the the combo that I've been talking about where I can go with a, uh, a cantrip or Essence scatter on turn two, and I'm on the play, too, so it helps. In this scenario, it really is beneficial to wait to kick this because we have so many lands in our hand that it's it's like a legitimate ramp. So I, even if my opponent doesn't do anything here, I'll probably hold off on the exploration. Um, like if there's nothing I want to essence scatter. Yeah, I'll scatter that though. That thing will probably chip in for six damage and get him a bunch of scries before the day's done. So that's no good. Um... Okay. This will let me get an additional land down. The Moss Beard Ancient is fine, but a little ways off. Peacekeeper. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and fire this off now. Hmm. I have to show him this one, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. Get another green source here. They could make my Moss Beer and Ancient cost nine? <laughs> okay. But this way I can cast this next turn. It doesn't do a whole lot straight away, but I'd rather have the option to cast it. If they named this and I have two tap lands, then I can't cast it. But here I can. Okay, go ahead. They did let me have this next turn, though. Or even this turn, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so they have Extinguish a Light. So they're just like, oh, I'll just basically put this thing on ice forever. And they're going to try to ride a wave of removal spells. 
But if I find one, then it unlocks the ancient as well. So that's not the worst. All right. So they can sleep her away the sojourner here. Yeah. I mean, I've got a ton of card draw and I just need to start finding it. That's bottom line here. I'm not going to kick this this time. I want to have the mana available to cast stuff. Ooh, there's some business. So let's see what we've got here. They killed a sojourner and Tatiova's already in the yard too. Decent. I'll take the root wall, I guess. Why not? Get back these doofuses. Say so go. I am taking a bit of damage here, but it's not too bad. And I theoretically will be able to get down this Moss Beard Ancient at some point, which will gain me five. I still have two more mana to go for it, but. Okay, so can I do this? Yeah, I can do both, right? Yes, but I don't think it's actually great to get down Tati over here because um, she doesn't block any better, really. Yeah, okay, so this is, this is getting interesting. I'm going to take seven here. Lands are good, actually. Lands are good. Uh, sure, but I can't really, oh, I can't actually attack, although I'm not going to. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm vaguely stable here. And I'm at least getting close to Moss Beard Ancient. I need one more land. That's a bingo. Question is, do I just run it out here? Probably so. I give back some of the damage in the air to the Sengir Connoisseur, but then I have a 7-7 seven, seven on the battlefield. I can actually start to attack like really well. And I have a ton of amazing top decks available as well. Oh no. Do they have Destroy Evil? No, oh, it's Resolute Reinforce. Okay, they're out of cards now, though. So their only good attack is the Connoisseur. Braids, I don't think, does that much here. Although it will grow the Connoisseur, right? And, like, that's pretty good, too. Okay, Rager's nice. Kind of no bad draws at this point. Hmm. I wonder if they can get that Sengir Connoisseur big enough here for it to be lethal. I think they can. And just kill me? Not quite. Okay. It's close, though. Might be a combat trick away. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a good draw. So we'll play this. I'll wake up this island. And this lets me attack here, and I believe I just keep back both of these islands. And then just pump this thing up to get in for the full amount. 
And then I can scatter something. Ooh, that's dirty. That's game, actually. Damn. Wow, that was a really good rip. Oh, they punted, though. Huh. If they kill Tatiova, don't the islands just fall out of the sky? Or the lands just fall down? I believe that's the case. All right. Something good. Okay, I'll counter the war horse. Impulse. All right. <laughs> Just a land would be fine. Um, is it worth it to grab a vine wall for a land? I mean, it, it's pretty risk free. No, I can just take the land here, I think. Wouldn't be surprised if they started chumping here. Okay. This is going to be tough to keep ahead of here because I have to keep finding ways to delay. Like if I find a removal spell, it makes it easy. Okay, that doesn't actually still kill me somehow. It's a great draw though. Okay, so I need to be able to kill a lot of things. I don't think I can. So this is going to be tough. Wow, Weather Seed Treaty. Is that enough to kill my opponent? Probably not. So what does this do? Whenever another creature you control dies, they, I lose a life. So if this dies, I'll go to one. But I can also just use it to go get a land and make another blocker. And this thing doesn't have anything special otherwise, right? Okay, well, they'll probably just trade it off for the root walla then. If they don't, then they could be in bad shape here. Oh, they're going to do this. Okay. This won't kill me, though, because it's another creature. So I'll go to one. And then I can treaty for a land. Oh, it's going to be tapped, isn't it? Son of a... All right. So <clears throat> no way out there, I suppose. Ugh, shoot, that was close. I get to see a few more cards, so I guess it's worth it here. Land, land, and that guy. All right, GG. Yeah, just needed a little something, something there. The uh, Citizen's Arrest was a really nice rip, even though they kind of targeted the wrong thing, sort of. That was a good game, though. Super close. Yeah, if I'm taking nine in the air that turn, I'm dead anyway. Okay. Good. All good. Very good opener. Very nice. Very nice. That's excellent, too, because if I scatter, fine, but if I don't, I'll impulse it, because I'd rather actually use joint exploration for a kicker if I can help it. So a 3-1 sleeper, yeah, you know what? That is worth countering here. I, I don't really like to use my counters on those type of cards, but like, look at my hand. I just don't really have much else going. Um, yeah, so now I can just join exploration, but just, there's no, no reason to... Uh, oh, they don't do anything this turn. That's amazing, though. 
Okay, so do I want a haunted mire? That gives me black, which I don't have, and a land, which I need. I also need another green. So yes, I do want a haunted mire. And I'll put it onto the battlefield. And I'll draw this guy. That's nice. Okay, go ahead. So let's see if it survives, because this, this deck has a lot of removal and Okay, so it's going to get extinguished. But now I can play Czar. Nice, nice. And then next turn I could even try to find a creature to get a counter onto. Okay, they got prayer. All right, we're battling. It's one for ones. Uh, let's impulse. Yes, I can impulse and still cast Tatiova. And I found a, some good stuff here. I think I should actually go for Mossbeard. This isn't going to trigger just yet, but th that is, you know, I'm one mana away from Moss Beard Ancient, and that thing's a real problem. Frexian Warhorse with Kick Hair. All right. I don't think I have bad draws at this point. They don't have any mana, right? So let's kill the uh, the horsey while the killing's good. And then I'll play this and I'll wake up that. And I'll jam. That's a nice that's a nice turn. And it sets me up for Moss Beard plus land next turn. So they really need to kill Tatio over here. Like it's gotta be, yeah, like that. And oh, that's a writhing necromass. I thought that was gonna be a um an arrest, but it was not. Hmm, I think I still need to get the moss beard down. I think it's worth... Hmm, is it? This is interesting. Is it worth... No, it's actually probably not. I think I'm just trying to race in the air now because they clearly don't have an answer for Tatiova. They haven't over the last two turns. And like the Moss Beard's good, but it kind of just runs into the writhing Necromass. All right, there, Citizens Rest. Did they figure it out? They did, and there they come crashing to the ground. Oh, they attack with both? Wow, that's wild. Okay, well, I want to get Moss Beard down now. And I'm willing to give up a little bit of damage for it. Okay, so now they're just chaining together citizens arrest. Are they attacking again? You can't attack again. Okay, if you're going to sack the 1-1 one, one anyway, then you can. Um, sure. Okay. Just going to not kick it this time. That looks good to me. I think I'm just going to play the Sunbather here. Rather than just play this as a 2-2. Two -two. I could just play it in case they play something cheap that they can sacrifice to Braids. That would be annoying. Yeah, and they did. That's okay. Oh, okay. I guess I could have just kicked it. I don't know. That probably would have been better. All right. In the meantime. See what we hit here. Not much, but a floriferous vine wall is actually probably fine. Like, I'd rather get down the Sojourner, but it's actually not doing much anyway, and this gives me a little bit of protection from the braids nonsense. There's some good cards in there. Where do those go? Bottom and random? Okay. 
Okay, so the root walla will hopefully trade off for the writhing necromass at some point. Um, and then that might clear the way for this to actually be able to rumble because four six versus a five five death touch is not where you want to be. And of course, we could blow this whole thing open by drawing, you know, um, some card draw. I've been I've been getting through my library pretty well, but you know, just straight up card advantage would be pretty devastating right now. Okay, that's not bad. That'll allow me to kill braids. But let's uh, let's get in here. Does Braids have Death Touch too? No, doesn't. Okay. All right. I'll pump this guy. See how this works out for me. Take up the shield. Didn't work out well. Okay. So I will kill this thing um, so that I can actually stick a threat and have it stay on the battlefield, hopefully. But I just, I need to see like a, oh, just a straight up, you know, any of my card draw spells I think would be quite good at this point. Where'd my big fella go? Oh, they're all under here. Yeah, that's rough. Okay, Sky Knight, no blocks. Ouch, ouch. Okay. And there's my Phyrexian Espionage. All right, I needed it. Unfortunately, we don't get to nab a card from them, but that's fine. And there's all my other card draw spells too. Beautiful. Now, do, what, do I, what are my actual targets here? I've got Vinewall, Rootwaller, and Nael. Nail seems pretty good here. I think I'm just going to get a little greedy here and go for this. Bingo. And I will get Nail and the Root Dad. And I can chump here. The nail has to trade off for the Sky Knight, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. It looks like they're just going to eight me here. Pretty big hit. What is this nonsense? I know these cards? Hmm. It's probably not great news for me. All right, if they have a removal spell, we lose. Okay, Singer Connoisseur does not count. But it is a problem. <laughs> huh, four? All right. It's not lethal. I could take it, but um, Nail can't get in anyway through the Connoisseur, so it's kind of like, why? Okay, so there's that, and then I'm going to draw Essence Scatter. So we're pretty screwed here. The Tallest Lookout's kind of our, our last hope. So that would make it to five. Yeah, I guess we're just dead, huh? It's rough. I just trade it for the Necromass. Yeah, they got us. So they can sack. Oh, they screwed it up, I think, maybe. I think they screwed it up because this triggers for each instance, right? So, like, I think they could have just sacked the Goblin, put a counter on it, and then when these traded, they 
they did it right. Oh, it only triggers once each turn. No, no, okay. So that's the limiting factor. But I'm drawing Essence Scatter, so I'm just dead. Dang. Good game. And I just have no choice. But to battle. All right. Welp. So what was what were these from, I wonder? I wonder if I could have ordered those. Is that possible that I screwed up somewhere back here? Let's see. Kicked in any order. That must have been from impulse. So I just probably clicked OK, but if I would have put the tallest lookout on top, then I would have been able to block and then I would have got a vine wall and I would have lost anyway, but whatever. I still, you know, just being nuts and bolty about it, I should have done it that way, even if it wouldn't have changed the outcome. All right, well, we finished 2-1 with this one. Those are good close games, though. Those were fun, and this deck was really, really sweet. Gives you a, a version, a vision of, of one of the types of decks you can draft. This is probably one of the more common ones, um, you know, five-color domain. But uh, they all are built a little bit different. Thanks so much for hanging out. We'll see you next time.